Hi, I'm John Hart and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. So today I'm running back to the mailbag. I have a question today that was put to me by, well, longtime subscriber and follower to my channel, Matt Hilton, uh, kind of a long-term friend as well. Matt asked me how, if I, or if I would do a video on explaining how I would keep my body fat under control in between contests and how I could only put on 10 pounds of body weight between shows without getting out of control. And so thanks Matt for the question. So I'm going to give you the answer and first really I want to explain that it's not so much an issue of weight on the scale per se. I wouldn't necessarily step on a scale all the time. Any of you who follow my channel for any length of time know that the scale is pretty much my last go-to. But in essence I would know where I was at all times by other markers, okay, and I wouldn't use a tape measure either. I literally was using this right here. This is what I've used since 2012. In 2012, uh, I won the light heavyweight class in the Mr. America contest, and I lost the overall by one vote. And that really kind of stuck in my craw. I mean, it really bothered me. So for 11 months, I trained and dieted and did the best that I can to push it as far out of reach of anybody else who would come back the following year and I won the overall the following year. I won the light heavyweights again and then the overall in 2013. In doing that, I took my belt right here. This is a forever lever uh, 10 millimeter belt and you see it's a powerlifting belt with a lever right here. I don't use the old school crank it belts that you know you basically are damaging your rotator cuff on one side trying to get it on. This is a lever belt that hooks in like this. I'll put the link in the video description below where you can find one of these. Really, really good belt. It hooks in, snaps in, and stays right on. So what does this have to do with my waist measurement? Well, as you'll see when I flip it over, the way that you personally set this belt is you have to screw in, as you can see, you have to screw in the lever at a certain distance or number of holes. My belt right here, I've never changed it since 2012. I committed back in 2012 that I'll never change this or unscrew this again under any circumstances for anybody. So this is my personal belt. I only use it, nobody else does. And these screws have not moved since 2012. You don't see a bunch of marks up or down at all on this belt. So this is my marker, my personal marker that I use to keep myself under control. If I stay right there at all times, and by the way, this is a medium sized forever lever belt. Go to their website and you find your own size. If you stay, like I stayed, right here at this measurement on this belt, it just so happens I've never gone over 10 pounds over contest weight. So I'm gonna throw that off to the side right there. And I'm going to urge you to make the effort to find your own personal marker. What is it that's going to keep you in check? Is it the scale? Is it tape measure around the waist? You've heard me talk before about one of my uh, uh, you know, most admired, I admire this man, Clarence ba Bass. He won the Passporting Mr. America back in 1979. And he's been a psh, four or five decade long experiment since then in how to keep low body fat and add lean mass. He's now 80 something years old. What does he do? Every morning he wakes up, he steps on the scale and he puts the tape measure on and he refuses to take a second or a third measurement. He takes the first measurement and that's what he goes by. And that's it. If he notices that he's up one inch in the waist, then there's a problem. A half an inch he knows on his body is not a big deal. So that's his way of doing it. It's not my way of doing it. Mine is my lifting belt. If you don't wear a lifting belt, which that's a whole other story, uh, find some other way. The scale, the tape measure, the mirror, pictures, right? I happen to be a lifting belt guy. So that's it, Matt. I hope that answers your question. And uh, for any one of you guys who do have any good questions, you want to shoot them down below in the comments section. Go right ahead. And if there's a really good one, I'll go ahead and make a video on it. That's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, off to your right, which is my left, there'll be a circle near my head right now. Go ahead and tap that. Uh, it'll hit the subscription uh, button 
and it will go ahead and let you know when I have new videos that pop up. Off to your left, you have the thumbs up button over there. Please give that thing a tap and turn it blue. That's also going to be great for the channel as well. Thank you once again. I look forward to seeing you next time.